Welcome back. As you already know, we've had a lot of issues with this project and I keep running into issues. So that's what I've been trying to solve. I have just been solving issues, fixing things. I'll show you guys. This car looks sick as though. Looks so sick though. Oh, it's so bad. Let's check it out. Look at this thing. Look at how sick this looks. This thing is so bad. But the problems that I'm running into is that the rear wheel and the front wheel are not in line yet. The front end is still too wide and I have to bring them in like another inch, which I'm gonna do by shrinking this back and dropping this back on both of them since I've already gotten pretty much everything like figured out other that otherwise there's that I got the rear end done this looks freaking sick with the slanted shocks but I still need to figure out the CV axles because check this out the CV axles do not reach they're like <laughs> so far off and that's with the plunge that's with the plunge I'm still like four inches from the thing on both sides so that sucks but the CV axles don't reach I'm gonna have to redesign this whole drivetrain to match that I got the seat in but it was already put in basically it just needed to be put in the cart which it's in there now. That, and then I got the metal for the dashboard so that I could put in the steering column and the pinion, but I can't do that until I get everything square and everything's not square yet. So that's what I'm gonna end up doing. I'm gonna fix these things and then work on the rest of it. If watching me fix these things, these issues that I've caused for myself, basically doing rework, if, this, if that's something that you guys wanna watch, let me know down below. To me, it's just tedious rework and it's the same process over and over and over until it's correct, you know? So it's really repetitive and tedious. But if that's something that you guys like watching, I'm more than happy to record those things. But it's the same process that I've been showing you guys. It's the exact same, exact same workflow. Now that I have this 60 inch wide cart, I'm definitely gonna just build like an 18 inch drivetrain, which is stupid. But at least now I can put a limited slip differential on the back which will allow for better turning and stuff. I do have a full-time job, so this is definitely like a hobby of mine. This is by no means my full-time job at all. I'm not making any money off of this at all. Um, actually, I've been <laughs> spending so much money on this that it kind of hurts my stomach. I'm still working on it tediously. Uh, almost every day I'm out here working on this thing, trying to get things t touched up, buttoned up, you know, get everything perfect but it's, uh, it's a lot of work and I'm doing it by myself. So, and like I said, I have a full-time job, so I spend all day working and then I come home, gotta do my daily due diligence and then get back to this, you know, so I only have a couple hours a day, if that. I do also like to work out and stuff. And the weekends I spend most of my time working on this. Plus, parts are expensive, you know, Parts are very expensive. I'm slowly collecting parts. So it is a big money pit, it's like a boat. You know, <laughs> it's like a boat, bust out another thousand. Feels like busting out another turmoil in my head because this is driving me nuts. But it looks super sick. This thing is amazing. It looks so sick. So yeah, stay tuned because I am still actively working on this. Um, it's just that I don't want to have to post the same video again twice. Like, <laughs> she's a like, back on wheels. <laughs> not, you know, not necessarily. <laughs> Thing and I, I'm still not even sure if it's right. I fixed all the suspension, so the suspension looks good now. Let's see, all of this. I made these brackets 
to put on so that the suspension can sit on these bars and travel the way it needs to. I rebuilt these for the seventh time and now they're, they actually work right and they're pretty even. Yeah, you can see they're a lot shorter than they were. And the front and the back wheels actually somewhat line up. So that's good. But right now I'm working on this steering rack right here. Trying to get the steering wheel all situated. Yup. I built this little U-bar to put the uh, steering on. So we're gonna chop this up and try to get that fitted up. I already bent this piece and I'm about to notch it. It's gonna go in front. I'm gonna test a couple things out.
check it out. So I got these all grinded down, polished off, so that I can build this dashboard. Uh, I already measured it. It's about an inch across to meet each side of the cart. Uh, so this is going to be about like this. About like that. Something like that. Maybe a little closer. Yeah, something like this. Something like that. Yeah, just like that. So we're going to get this tacked together. See if it fits. Steering setup on the new rear end setup. Got the steering wheel with the new the new dashboard. Steering rack, and pinion. Got my new control arms built for the seventh time. I got these little bullet brackets put on here. I had to give them a little bit of space so that they fit right at the right angle but it's all straight and it looks solid. Not be happier about how this car is turning out i'm so freaking stoked about it i just wish it was done so that i could rip it around because like it's so sick but i've just been doing a lot of rework is really what i've been doing so the videos that you've seen on my channel i've just been repeating those steps over and over and over trying to get everything perfect so um i didn't feel like reposting a bunch of 
already posted content. So I've also been doing a lot of research into the upcoming steps that I'm gonna have to do with like Ackerman angle and building this drivetrain. I've been designing parts for the drivetrain and a whole bunch of other things. So it's definitely coming together. Uh, I wish that I had like so much money so that I could just buy all the parts, but things are expensive and uh, it is a hobby. So I gotta remember that it's a hobby and not my, <laughs> not my main source of funding. <laughs> but stay tuned and we'll definitely have more progress coming soon.